In 2010, I was hit by a softball. This whole part of my face was um, all damaged. Basically, what happened was my pain wouldn't go away. Pain is something that really is traumatic for children. They don't eat well, sleep well, respond well to their parents if they're uncomfortable and in pain. The estimate from the uh, Institute of Medicine in the United States has been that chronic pain costs more to society than cardiac disease and cancer combined. The infection came back four times and I was on a feeding tube for about 10 months. I couldn't move. I couldn't eat and I couldn't move. Uh, she's, no, she's day three post-op. Oh, day three post-op. Yeah, she's day three post-op. So Finn, you had your surgery yesterday, mm -hmm. and we just wanted to ask you how you are doing with your pain. The pain center really is the bringing together of the researchers, the clinicians, the educators to really uh, get the best uh, practices that are out there. So you can have that if you need to, right? You can ask the nurse for that, and she'll bring you some and put it through your IV. Newborns can't verbally tell us that they have pain. And so we are challenged to assess their pain in the best way that we can so that we can actually implement the best strategies to minimize their pain. We need to fully understand the complexities of pain, how pain impacts not only the infants and children and youth that we serve here at SickKids, but also their families. Unbelievably tough. It's amazing how how much you care, care for somebody and how it tears you apart inside. It hurts a little. What would you say it is out of ten? Ten being the most pain. Two. Two? We really need to improve pain outcomes for children. Uh, we want to make sure that we treat um, patients at the right time, in the right place, with the right interventions. So the use of pharmacological, physical and psychological strategies leads to improved uh, pain outcomes for children clinically. Pain, in particular chronic pain, has been seen as a symptom of disease. Now we know that's not true. Chronic pain is a set of brain conditions that are diseases in and of themselves. Part of the, the goal for understanding specific genes, specific molecules, and specific signaling pathways is so that in the long term we can tailor specific therapies to individuals. We know that if kids are comfortable uh, and their pain is well managed, they have minimal anxiety, they eat better, they sleep better, they heal better, they get to go home sooner. Okay. All of a sudden, when my pain is bad, I, I have like a bunch of backup strategies to use and be able to cope with things. And we need to be able to develop rational and effective therapies, and that's why the Pain Centre needs increased funding, because there's been a dearth of funding for this kind of research, not just at SickKids, but globally. It's been amazing to feel like I have the support of like a whole team behind me. I mean, without them, I wouldn't be able to function every day. In a hospital, pain is everywhere. And we really feel that it's everyone's responsibility both to recognize it, uh, prevent it when possible, and treat it the most effectively in whatever ways we can. If we can really understand pain and we can find the right interventions that fit with the individual child, then we can completely change their life.